monarch butterfly is an iconic species in North America. It's a gorgeous four inch large winged butterfly. It's orange and black and it's really beautiful. Arvada is trying to help the monarch because they're really having a hard time. Their population has declined in the last 20 years. Over 90% of the monarchs are gone. So we're trying to do a lot to help our monarchs and in doing that we'll also help our local pollinators. So one way to do that is by taking the Mayor's Monarch Pledge and challenging other municipalities to do what they can to help save the monarch butterfly. Majestic View Nature Center has been helping monarchs for quite a while. We have a beautiful demonstration garden here at the Nature Center with a lot of different nectar plants that the monarch butterflies and all of our local pollinators really enjoy. We also have been planting milkweed, which is the host plant for the monarch butterfly. Monarch butterflies are specialists. They only lay their eggs on the milkweed plant. And so if the milkweed plant is in trouble, then the monarch butterfly is in trouble and currently that is the situation happening in the U.S. So milkweed is often seen as a weed, especially if you're a farmer trying to grow crops. So about 20 years ago, right around the time when the monarchs started suffering, scientists developed technology to allow for genetically modified corn and soybean seeds. And with those developments, farmers were able to blanket their fields with herbicide which doesn't harm these genetically modified corn and soybeans, but it does kill off all the weeds, which is great for the farmers, but awful for the milkweed. So without the milkweed, we don't have the monarchs. It is unique in the animal kingdom in that it makes this amazing migration. It migrates from Canada all the way down to Mexico every year. It's a 2,000 mile migration, and they do it over the course of two months, and the amazing thing is they've never done it before. Most people think that one monarch migrates both south and north, but in fact it's a four generation migration. So if you start this migration in January or February in Mexico, the monarchs wake up, they start flying north as the weather gets better, and that generation mates and lays eggs and maybe makes it as far as Texas, and then they die. This next generation hatch, fly further north, lay eggs, and die. A third generation flies further north, and maybe even a fourth makes it as far as southern Canada or northern United States. Then those eggs that hatch are sort of a super generation of monarchs. Instead of living two months, those monarchs live six to nine months. And somehow they know to individually start flying down to Mexico, or if you're on the west side of the Rocky Mountains, down to southern California, it takes them two months. They arrive in Mexico in the Oyamel Mountains around the same time every year in masses, in millions of monarch masses. And scientists are just amazed how they do this. It's still a mystery. Colorado is not a hotbed for monarch butterflies. We sort of fall between their two flyways. However, we do host a lot of stray monarch butterflies, and every year here at Majestic View Nature Center, we see monarch butterflies on our milkweed and on our butterfly bush, so we know they're here. The best time to see monarch butterflies in Colorado is going to be in August and September as they're heading down to Mexico. There's a lot of things that you can do to help the monarch butterfly. First of all, just planting milkweed in your yard or your garden is a fantastic thing. Deciding to garden without pesticides is another great thing you could do for monarchs. If you can purchase organic things that you know are not genetically modified or have had herbicide and pesticides sprayed on them, you're actually doing a lot of good for the monarch butterfly and the milkweed that it needs. Monarchs are specialists about where they will lay their eggs, but they're not specialists about what they'll eat. So they'll go to flowers of many different varieties for their nectar. So a lot of different varieties of perennials that can grow in your backyard garden would be great for monarch butterflies, as well as other pollinators. They're an amazing little critter. Most people are not very fond of insects, but most people love butterflies, and especially the monarch butterfly. So if there is ever a species that we can really unify and try to save, the monarch butterfly would certainly qualify as one. Well.